Good afternoon. West Midlands Police has sent a file to the Crown Prosecution Service with a view to bringing charges against an unnamed individual in connection with the Birmingham pub bombings. 21 people died in the explosions 48 years ago today and police have faced fierce criticism from the families for failing to bring the killers to justice. Giles Latcham reports. It remains the biggest case of unsolved mass murder on English soil in the 20th century. 21 killed, 200 injured by IRA bombs which exploded in two busy pubs in Birmingham city centre. 18-year-old Maxine Hamilton was one of the youngest victims. For over a decade, her family's campaigned for the killers to be brought to justice. Her sister Julie is now being told by West Midlands Police that they submitted a file to the Crown Prosecution Service outlining the case against an individual whom they haven't publicly identified. We've just got to wait and see and hope that CPS look at this as a matter of urgency. It is 48 years after all. And um, we hope that um, our loved ones will finally see, uh, get a door opened for them to have truth, justice and accountability. We don't know the name of the individual these files relate to, nor what charge might be brought, if any. Nevertheless, in this long and sorry story, this is a significant moment. It's the first time, so far as we're aware, evidence has reached the CPS since the 1970s. It's the closest the families have got to obtaining the justice they've campaigned for so tirelessly. The inquests originally opened in 1974 were finally resumed in 2019, but they didn't answer many of the questions the families still have. Their lawyers say, regardless of what evidence the police have gathered, there's still a pressing need for a public inquiry. It's very important. If there are those who are responsible, they should face justice. It's only one element of an, of an overall investigation about preventability, knowledge, uh, any collusion, any systemic failures, um, and the whole nature of what was happening as a, as a culmination of an IRA bombing campaign. A new set of lights now illuminates the New Street Station Memorial to the victims of the pub bombings. After so many years, will new light be shed on this city's darkest chapter? Could the question, who bombed Birmingham, finally be answered. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today.